Ellis B. Feaster's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. WIBG, Philadelphia 3, no later than March 25th. You may win a transistor radio. WIBG as we head for the headlines back in a flash with another old smash. WIBG News, reporting news at any second. Over 3,000 reporters, plus news tipsters, covering news at every second. Philadelphia listens to WIBG for news. This is WIBG News for the 22nd hour of Wednesday, March 15th. WIBG, Philadelphia. The Philadelphia District Attorney's Office says it will not oppose a motion tomorrow for release of murder suspect Lillian Reese in bail. The 30-year-old former chorus girl, now a Philadelphia nightclub owner, has been held without bail in Philadelphia pending extradition to New Jersey. Miss Reese, a suspect in the burglary at a Foxville, Pennsylvania home, is under indictment for the slaying of another suspect in the set. WIVG Roundup. Public hearings will begin in Philadelphia March 30th on a complaint against three bus lines in the Bucks County area. Three suspects were held without bail in Norristown today on charges of burglary activities ranging from Montgomery County to Sunbury in the central part of the state. An itinerant carnival worker who admitted in Virginia today that he disposed of the bodies of four of his missing children had been a suspect in an unsolved case here in Philadelphia. However, authorities said today they're doubtful that the worker and his wife are the parents of the boy whose body was found in a box in the Fox Chase section of the city in February of 1957. WIBG, Washington. Mrs. John Kennedy flew to Palm Beach, Florida today for a rest in the sun to clear up a case of bronchitis. The First Lady's news secretary says Mrs. Kennedy will remain at the home of a close friend for about a week. The United States Space Agency says Russia's seven-ton spaceship has burned up in the Earth's atmosphere. The United States scientists said the spacecraft launched February 4th, perished February 26th, but a fragment broke off or was ejected and is still in orbit. The government-controlled news media in Cuba have bitterly attacked recent outbursts of violence by anti-Castro elements. The attacks were prompted by bombing and shooting incidents during the past week, which have killed two persons and wounded 11 others. The FBI has charged two men with defrauding a Mason, Michigan bank of more than 370 says the men, one of them a former director of the bank, misapplied money, funds, and assets in defrauding the bank. Actress Marilyn Monroe reportedly will be released from a New York City hospital on Friday. A spokesman for the hospital said Miss Monroe is in good condition after being admitted last month when she suffered symptoms of a nervous breakdown. WIBG Worldwide Wrap-Up, President de Gaulle's government has proclaimed its readiness to open Algerian peace talks with Muslim rebel leaders. Terrorist tension returned to Algiers today with a bomb attack and four more deaths in widely scattered areas. And President Kennedy told his news conference this morning that Defense Secretary McNamara has given him a new defense blueprint calling for an increase in conventional military forces. The Willis Weather Eye sees cloudy skies tonight with rain or fog, that condition remaining tomorrow morning, clearing by tomorrow afternoon with sunshine. Right now, WIBG temperature 38 degrees, relative humidity 89%. Now, Harvey Miller and Music on WIBG, I am a FM number one in Philadelphia. Yeah.